Look at this beautiful piece of land here in Iceland. And I'm headed all the way up there because on the top of this gigantic mountain, it's like a huge block of mountain in the middle of an entire field of volcanic black sand. The reason I'm hiking up here is because there are ancient graves. There are, there's Vikings buried up there. There's, there was an old farmhouse. People used to live all the way up there and they're buried up there. So I wanna go up, see what the graves look like and then take you over if I can find them to the remnants of the farms and give you some of these amazing views that this area has to offer. So to get up to the top of this mountain tabletop thing here, there's just a basically like a little sheep trail. You can kind of see it here. It's definitely not a well-worn trail at all. In fact, there's even some sheep right up there. Climbing these little trails is uh, strenuous, but I think we're almost there to the first burial ground up here. But look how beautiful it is. Reminds me of the sound of music almost. Just rolling hills. When you, once you get to the very top, you know, once you get on top of this place, it's just very beautiful hills. Just to give you an idea of how far this trail is. That's one lone person and they're a few miles away. So we have made it to the very top and this place is amazing, full of incredible views. This is, I guess, the marker signifying that you are at the top and then this square here. This is the uh, one of the burial sites. Probably the most interesting thing here, other than the magnificent view, is this primitive burial site. Now look at this. This thing is super old. It says, here lies the Viking and his name. I don't even, I can't even really see that. I can't pronounce that anyway. And it says, what are that? Oh, the first settler of, oh, the first settler of Iceland. And the very bottom, it says killed circa 875 AD. It's pretty cool to come and see an actual Vikings grave. I think that's pretty awesome. And then up here, up these stairs, these are much newer. And I thought there were three graves, there are actually four, 1919, 1939, and 1906. And it's, they're buried here on this square raised cemetery, I guess you could call it, or burial area. And uh, there's a guest book that you can sign. Guest book. I'll show you. So this is the, the, the sign in the guest book here, and they're, they're from different languages all over the world. Canada, Wisconsin. Uh, I saw Belgium in there. Finland, Russia, Austria, Los Angeles. So of course I'm going to put my own note in here. So if you come up here, look for it and you will see it in here. So making our way down this trail and I think I can see some ruins of the old farmhouse. I think it's right there but I won't know for sure until I get down there and ha I have probably another 20 minutes or so of hiking to get down there. 
So yeah, I was right. This is remnants of either the old farmhouse or a barn or something. So to give you some history about this place, um, there was a farm down below, not, not on top of this thing that we're on now. And sometime in the 1800s, there was a huge volcanic eruption and a massive flood which destroyed the farm. And then sometime later, the farm was brought up here to the safety of up, up on top of this thing. Now the people that lived here throughout the years are the ones that are buried up on top. Um, not that Viking, the Viking was way, way, way before. But uh, there was a man named Marcus, his wife, his brother, and their kids are also buried there, but they're, they don't have a gravestone. They're just buried in there with, uh, with the family. So I believe there are actually five people buried in that square. And this is what's left of one of the farmhouses. There's a couple, there's a couple different houses up here. This looks like it was a pretty good sized house for being back in the day. Old farm equipment, maybe like an old drill press or something. I don't know. Oh, and it has one of these in here. So something, some kind of tool. So really this is what's left. There's, there are some more houses that I'm going to see if I can find. Well, this looks like, who knows? I don't know if this was. Is this, this doesn't strike me as any kind of a barn or anything like that because they had that the grass roof with the slate or the flat stone on top of it, which has caved in. So this was probably someone's home. Maybe that uh, Marcus's place. So this maybe was just, if that's a home, this was someone's front yard. Imagine mowing the lawn out here with this view. A better shot of the inside of that place and the original house we were just at in the background. All right, so that little area just to the right of what looks like a cave, which I think is a cave. When I was there just now, I was panning over and showing you what the land looks like. And I happened to see another uh, little house. So I came over here I'm just getting up here now. I think this was that man Marcus's house. Very simple house. And go inside it. It's a little tight. And this is it. Nothing, nothing crazy. But one heck of a view. Now that's actually sand out there, the dark part. You would think it's the ocean, but the beach here is super, super long. The ocean almost looks like the sky in this camera, but it's way out there. But nevertheless, he had an amazing view. Let me zoom in and show you here, give you a better idea what the beach looks like. So this is all sand. You can see a road on the beach that goes all the way to the, to the water. And the water is way out there. So here's a view. This is the very top of that mountain plateau thing that we're on. And you can look down and see some cars way down there. I don't know, a couple hundred feet for sure. And as you hike along this area, along, along the trails, you can hear the sheep 
on the countryside calling out to their buddies. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So this is what I'm going to leave you with here as I end this video. Uh, this is a, the, one of the peaks that just the, the view just keeps going and going and going. Incredible landscape here, full of little caves and cliffs. Just keeps getting better and better in this country. Every day something new. So make sure you keep tuning in because there's going to be some interesting videos coming your way. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.